yo what's up guys it's john here and welcome back to another one of my videos today i'm going over how to create a facebook ad in 2020 that's gonna save you a ton of money when i first created my first facebook ad ever i burned through a lot of my budget making some mistakes setting up a few things wrong so i'm gonna be going over that right there show you what to look out for so you don't make the same mistakes that i did and hopefully save you a ton of money along the way so right now we're inside of my business manager back office if you haven't gotten your business manager created check out my previous video where i show you how to set up a business manager account because you want to do that first before you create a facebook ad <clears throat> so again if you don't have a business manager created check out my previous video i show you how to set one up because you want to do that first before you create your first facebook ad so inside of your business manager your back office might look a little bit different but just look out for the same settings that i go over inside of this video because it's all going to be the same regardless the whole setup is exactly the same but it just might look a little bit different inside of your back office so the first thing you want to do is go over to your business manager home screen so right now we're at home after that look out for one of your ad accounts and then click on one of your ad accounts open up one of your business ad accounts inside of here you can create your first facebook ad by simply clicking on the red button that pops up so this red button right here click on create and now you can start creating your first facebook ad so after that this is one of the most important parts of creating your Facebook ad is clicking, uh, choosing one of your marketing objective, Cl clicking on your marketing objective, you know, what's your Facebook ad going to be about. So your Facebook ad could be about traffic. All you want to do is drive traffic to your website or, you know, obviously to the product you're trying to sell. You can create a Facebook engagement post ad, which basically means you're going to create an ad that you want people to like, share, comment. You can also do a video ad. So here's video views right here. So if you have a video that you want to post as an ad you're going to want to click on this right here so again basically right here you're just picking your marketing objective what's your facebook ad going to be about do you want to drive traffic to your website is it going to be a video ad is it going to be a post engagement ad is it going to be brand awareness do you want more people to know about your page or your business so that's where you're going to choose that right there now normally people want to create a facebook ad to get someone to go to their website right so if you want someone to click on your website you know click on your facebook ad to go to your website just click on traffic right here so we'll use traffic for this example right now after that you want to go ahead and give your campaign a name i'll just use example right now for youtube after that click on set up ad account and right here you're just going to enter in a couple of information of where you're at exactly so for example the country the currency that you're using and your time zone go ahead and click on continue if all that's set up right already and right now you're going to create your first ad set so this is what i want you to understand right now this is very very important to understand when creating facebook ads is the way they work so right now we're creating an ad set right an ad set is basically the file that goes inside of the campaign right so an ad set goes inside of the campaign and an ad goes inside of the ad set right so you have basically three different departments right you have your campaign inside of your campaign you have your ad set and inside of your ad set you have your ad so what the ad set is is basically this is where you're going to fill out the details of your ad so who you want to target what country you want to target you know the location the interest of people that you want to target basically all the details that you're going to be using to target this ad with all go inside of the ad set so again the location the interest of people that you're trying to target the age the gender all that's going to go inside of the ad set once you're finally ready to create the ad the ad copy itself that's going to be the ad down here so let's go ahead and create the ad set right now so i can show you how to do this right here so once you create once you're right here the first thing you want to do is give your ad set a name so let's say for example we were targeting people that like basketball or michael jordan just want to use a very general example right now so right now i'm going to use this ad set right now and just type in michael jordan that way it's going to help me remember what this ad set is about right here like let's say for example if i target a certain audience with this ad set just looking at the name is going to help me remember who i'm targeting next go ahead and scroll down and just leave it on website right here go ahead and skip uh, skip dynamic creative and skip on offer for now and you're also going to want to skip on create a new audience right here go ahead and skip all that right there after that what you're going to want to do next is go ahead and choose your location so depending on where you want to target your ad if you 
wanted to be in the United States, if you want to target Spain or maybe Mexico, another country, you're going to enter that in right there. Now, let's say you're in the United States and you want to target a certain location, for example, maybe a city or a state. Go ahead and type that in inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out United States. And let's say maybe I only wanted to target Los Angeles, California. So what I'm going to type in right there, right here is Los Angeles, California, and it pops right up for you. So just go ahead and click on that. And it highlights it for you now now next what you can do next is determine the radius that you want to target so for example if i wanted to be within 25 miles of los angeles if i wanted to be within 50 miles of los angeles i could change that inside of here what you can also do is exclude locations so for example let's say maybe you wanted to target uh, california the state and you didn't want to include los angeles you can go ahead and click on the down arrow and click on exclude and you can exclude any location that you don't want your ad to be showing inside of that state or inside of the location. So again, for example, maybe I'm targeting the United States as a whole, the whole United States country, but I want to exclude Texas or California. I would just enter in that state inside of here. So for example, I'll go ahead and type in Texas right here. So all of Texas is going to be excluded. As you can see right here, now all Texas has been excluded. So this is where your location targeting is going to go to. So again, that's why it's very important that you put a name for your ad set so you can kind of remember exactly who you're targeting exactly when you look at the ad set name. So once you do that, <clears throat> go ahead and scroll down and you're going to want to want to enter in the age of the people you want to target. So if you're targeting you know, younger people or an older crowd, that's where you're going to enter in the age. So you can choose anywhere between 25, you know, between 65 and basically 18 guys. So go ahead and enter in the age group that you want to start targeting. Now, this is very important right here because you obviously want to make sure you're targeting the right people, showing your ad to the right people. So you're not spending a ton of money on the wrong people. So make sure you enter in the right age limit. And after that, you can go ahead and enter in the gender. So if you only want to target men, if you want to target women or both of them, you can leave it on all. So go ahead and do that right there. And after that, you want to target the demographics. So let's say, for example, this is really going to be the most important part right here. Let's say you want to target people that like basketball or people that like Michael Jordan or maybe baseball or whatever, you know, field, whatever you're trying to target, right? This is where it's going to go to exactly right here. So if I want to target people that are interested interested in Michael Jordan or basketball that's where I'm going to type that in right here so it pops right up for me right and as you can see right here it says interest right here Michael Jordan so I'd go ahead and click on that right there so basically this is exactly where you type in the exact interest of the people that you're trying to target right so I like I showed right now for example Michael Jordan or maybe I could do like ESPN or basketball right people that are interested in basketball all I have to do is type in basket right ball right there and it shows the interest right here now so now it might be different in some cases maybe it'll be like job titles as you can see right here job titles so maybe you're trying to target people that are have this as a job title NBA player but <clears throat> If you're just trying to, you know, target the interest, just click on interest right here. And those are the people you're trying to target. Now you can be more more specific with your targeting by choosing narrow audience right here. So what a narrow audience does is it basically crosses the the interest that people have. So let's say, for example, you were selling a painting of Michael Jordan, right? A painting, an art project of Michael Jordan. What you can do is target people that like paintings, that like art, and also target people that like Michael Jordan using the narrow audience. So now that I opened up the narrow audience right here, I can go ahead and type in painting now. And as you can see right here, painting pops up. So interest in painting or I could do all art paint. Right. So painting art right here. So now what Facebook is doing is basically t crossing the people that are interested in painting and art painting and basketball as well. Right. So that's a way to go ahead and get way more detailed with the targeting with, you know, your actual customer and who you're trying to target with your ad is by narrowing the audience. Now, you don't have to do that. And what you usually want to do is don't add any more than two or three because it's going to really open up your target audience of who you're trying to target. And let's say you start getting results in, you're not going to know exactly where they're coming from because you're going to have too many uh, targets that you're trying to target I guess so you only want to choose about two or three to start with and next time when you create a new ad set you can go ahead and choose a different target audience you know basically have everything the same but just choose a different target audience I'll show you how to do that later on 
So after that, go ahead and scroll down. And what you can also do right here is click on show more options and choose the languages. So for example, if you only want to target people that are speaking English, you know, with this ad right here, maybe they live in the US, but they speak a different country. You want to type in English right here. So English, all US right here, type that in right there. And what you can also do is click on connections right here. So right now it's targeting everybody. But let's say you have an ad that you only want to target new people. Maybe somebody who hasn't liked your Facebook page or somebody that doesn't know about your Facebook page. You want to go ahead and exclude that right there. So you can choose people right here. So exclude people who engage with your page already, right? So if somebody has liked your page, if they know about your page already and you don't want to show them the ad again, you can exclude people who engage with your page already. And it gives you a, a couple more options in Side of here so just go ahead and choose that right there check that out in case you want to exclude people if you're if this is your first ad then you're probably not going to have to do that right there but that's just a, i want to go over that right there so you can see exactly where that's at now this is going to be the most important part <clears throat> Of setting up a Facebook ad right here and that is the placements guys this is what can really make and or break your budget so when you go ahead and set up a Facebook ad Facebook is automatically gonna put you an automatic placements so you don't want to do that right there the first thing you want to do is click on edit placements and obviously if you're creating a Facebook ad it's because you want to show it on Facebook right you want people when they're on Facebook going through their timeline you want them to see your ad right well this is exactly where you choose that right there because if you leave it alone facebook is going to show your ad everywhere on messenger facebook stories instagram audience network so a whole bunch of different platforms right here <clears throat> that Facebook is gonna show your ad, but if you just wanna show your ad on Facebook, spend your money only on Facebook, you're gonna to wanna to uncheck all these other boxes right here. Uncheck all, all these other boxes and leave only Facebook alone. And then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down right here and click on Facebook newsfeed only. Make sure this box is checked and uncheck everything else. Cause as you can see right here, Facebook is gonna place your ad on Facebook marketplace, on Facebook video feeds, on Facebook right column. So you don't wanna your ad on places that you know you don't want your ad to be showing basically so if you only want your ad shown on facebook timeline make sure you only have the facebook news feed check and uncheck all these other ones right here because again facebook is basically going to put your ad everywhere which is going to make you know basically spend your money a lot lot faster right so go ahead and un uncheck all these boxes right here in stream so you don't need any of these right here especially again if you just want Facebook to show your ad when people are scrolling through their timeline all right so right here you also have a few other options so for example let me scroll up right here on devices so if you're trying to target all devices you can leave it on all devices but if you only wanted your ad to show on desktop obviously click on mobile or desktop only so if you have the option right here to go ahead and you know decide whether you want your ad to show on mobile or desktop only. For me, when I'm creating a brand new ad, I usually only show it on mobile because that's where most people are at. You know, everyone has their cell phone in their hand scrolling through their timeline and stuff. So I usually go with mobile, test the ad out on mobile first before I take it over to desktop. So I'll go ahead and leave that right there. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you have more options, guys. So right here, you can go ahead and decide whether you want to target all the devices. So for example, if you want to target only iOS devices, iPhones, or if you only want to target Android devices, maybe the app that you're trying to, you know, promote or, you know, service, whatever, it, it's only for Android, it's only for iPhone. So you want to go ahead and choose that right there. But if it's open, you know, you can just leave it on all mobile devices. And you also have the option to click on Wi-Fi only. So only when someone is connected with, to Wi-Fi, they're going to show your ad to them. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, someone has slow internet connection and you're trying to do a video ad or so what you can do is click on only show when someone is connected to Wi-Fi, meaning that when they're connected to Wi-Fi, that's only when your ad is going to show up to them, meaning your ad is going to load up faster, meaning that they click on your ad, the web page is going to load up faster. So that's up to you right there, depending on your ad exactly. But you have that option, guys. Just want to go over that right there because it might be very important, especially if you're running a video ad. You know, when someone's connected to Wi-Fi, obviously the video ad is going to show up a lot faster. It's going to load up a lot quicker instead of, you know, Maybe they're running their slow internet connection. It's going to take a while to load. So, okay, that's that right there. Let's keep scrolling down. Next, what you're going to want to do next is go ahead and set up your your budget. Your set up your budget. So, for example, right here, you have a daily budget and you also have a lifetime budget. <clears throat> 
what I usually do is just go with daily budget and just enter in the budget that I want to spend daily. Now, I usually start off with about five bucks, especially if I'm just testing out the ad set. I want to see if people are going to react to this audience right here, to this target audience. If people are going to like, you know, click on it. I want to go ahead and test it out first. So I usually start off with about five bucks and you want to go ahead and leave it on link clicks right here. So anytime somebody clicks on your ad and anytime somebody actually clicks on it, that's when you're going to get charged right there. You also have the option to control cost for control cost right here, but you just want to leave that alone right now. It's optional. I usually just leave it alone and check out how much exactly the ad is spending later on. So after that, now you have the option to go ahead and run your ads continuously when you start. You usually want to leave it like this, guys. Unless you want to only run your ad for about three days or maybe for about a week, then you can enter in the start and end date of your ad. Now, I usually don't go with that right there. I usually just leave it on run my ad continuously as soon as I start the ad so that means you you have basically have full control on when the ad is running and when you can stop it so go ahead and leave it on run my ad continuously starting today just leave it on that right now and again this is your daily budget so if you have more money to spend i usually start with five dollars myself just to test out the ad because when you're running a facebook ad the first three days are going to be just for testing so you want to make sure you have the budget for the first three days once you set up this ad set right here you want to leave it alone for at least three days three days guys you don't want to touch it because facebook is basically going to work its magic and go out and find the exact people that you know this ad right here is for but it is going to take about two to three days for that to happen right there first facebook shows the ad to people then it starts getting its own information on seeing exactly who this ad is for right here but that usually takes around three days to do so you want to make sure your daily budget is something that you could spend for at least the next three days just for testing right there so once you set that up just go ahead and click on continue and now you can create the ad copy itself so this is going to be the ad copy what people actually see when they're scrolling on facebook again this is the ad copy what we just did was the ad set where we basically enter in the exact details of our ad the people we're trying to target the location the age the gender all that and inside of the ad set was the campaign which is basically the objective of the ad what this ad is all about again this ad was to drive traffic to our website so again guys this is exactly what you want to know especially if you are going to start running ads the difference between the ad the ad set and the campaign guys again the ad goes inside of an ad set and the ad set goes inside of the campaign inside of your campaign you can have as many ad set as you want so again the ad set is where your detailed targeting the people you're trying to target but let's say you want to try out a different audience you want to try out maybe a different people people that like something different you can create a new ad set inside of the campaign and you know start targeting different people now inside of the ad again it's inside of the ad set and I, I know this is a little bit confusing guys hopefully you, you could follow along with it because inside of the ad you can create several different ads inside of your ad set so this so these are the people that you're targeting maybe you want to show different ad copies to them maybe you see exactly what's the best ad that's going to work for your campaign you know maybe people are clicking more on this ad than the second ad but that's basically how all that works right there guys you want to know the, dif the difference between an ad an ad set and a campaign all right so let's go ahead and create the ad now guys so inside of here you're going to go ahead and click on the page that you want to you know run the ad for it's automatically going to be right here but if you want to choose a different page go ahead and click on the little down arrow and you can choose the basic the page that you want to start running the ad for so let's leave that alone now you can go ahead and create your ad so you're basically going to create a single image or a video ad but if you want to create a carousel ad you know all that extra stuff is right here we're going to go ahead and keep it basic for now just create a single image ad real quick up here at the top you can go ahead and give your ad a name so maybe you want to name this ad some specific so again example for youtube so you can give your name and ad you don't have to do that right there that's all up to you and also if you have a post on your page that you want to turn into an ad let's say you have a post you created on your facebook page and you want to make that post into an ad just click on ex use existing post right here so click on use existing post and basically all your posts are going to go ahead and pop up right here and you can just choose the one that you want so let's go ahead and start from scratch and click on create a new ad for now we clicked on single image ad and after that now we're going to actually going to create the ad itself so the first thing you want to do is add an image to your ad. Let's, let's go ahead and add the image, get that out of the way. Click on add media right here and click on add image. Now you can go ahead and upload your own image if you want. But the cool part about it is that Facebook also has a ton of images that you can go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and click on here and click on stock photos. And Facebook has a ton of stock photos that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and type in basketball. 
and whatever you know images that they have you can go ahead and use them absolutely free but again if you have your own image you can upload it inside of here as well all right so it took a little while to load but this is basically it right here guys again facebook has their own stock images that you can use for your ad that's completely up to you if you want to upload your own image to your ad just go ahead and click on the down arrow and click on account images right here and these are the basic account images that you uploaded already click on upload right here and you can upload your own image to use for your facebook ad but right now let's just go back and use a stock image just for this example of basketball i'm gonna click on continue so that one's fine right there now, once you do that, just go ahead and scroll down and it's going to give you an example of what your ad is going to look like now. So as you can see right here, it went ahead and put that image for our ad. So now we can have a good idea on what our ad's going to look like. So now let's go ahead and start filling in the details of our ad. So primary text, this is going to be the basic text that goes on, you know, the description part of your ad, you know, what people can actually read the basic post uh, text right there. So let's go ahead and type some, <coughs> type something in right now. So I just put in a couple of text right here and it, it goes ahead and updates it for me on the actual ad copy so as you can see right here it shows you exactly what your ad is going to look like as you're starting to build it out so that was the primary text now you can put in a headline so here's the headline over here so let's type in and every time i update something on on my left hand side right here it updates it on the actual ad copy so again it's showing you exactly what it's looking like as you build it so go ahead and fill out these three text box, the primary text, your headline text, and your description text, all for your ad copy. After that, enter in your URL, the web, your website URL that you're trying to get people to go to after clicking on your ad. So I'm going to type in my URL right now. And the last option you have is your button, your call to action button. So right now it has the learn more button right here, but you can go ahead and change that right there by clicking on the down arrow and you can choose whatever you want. So you can choose book now, apply now, subscribe, watch more, contact us. So when, whatever one you choose is going to change it inside of the text box right here. So if you want to do that right there, or you can choose no button at all if you don't want a button on your ad. And so that's basically that right there. After that, go ahead and scroll down and click on confirm. And now Facebook is going to start the review process for your ad. Now, if you don't have your payment settings set up, it's going to ask you for that right there. But you should already have your payment settings set up already. If you followed my last video showing you how to set up your business manager account. So go ahead and do all that right there. What's going to happen next is you're going to go to your back to your ads manager account and you're going to see that your ad is inside of reviews. So let me give you a quick example of that right there. So here's one of my ad accounts. Let me open that this up right now. And basically inside of your ad account, just like I showed you when you clicked on create a new ad, you're going to have your ad posted right here. And inside of here under delivery, it's going to be under review. You're going to see the status under review. Once your ad gets approved, you're going to see that it says on and your ad is going to be running. That's when your ad's going to be set. It's going to be running. You're going to know everything's all good. But first, it is going to be under review, guys. So let me go over a few extra things, guys, that I want to make sure you know before you create your first Facebook ad. So like I had just mentioned, once you go ahead and click on your campaign, you have an ad set inside of here, right? So inside of your campaign, you have your ad set and inside of your ad set, you have the actual ad copy. So this is the actual ad copy that people see when they click on your ad or when they see your ad on Facebook. <clears throat> but again, inside of the ad, you have your ad set right here. So this is all the details of the ad. So what you can do is go ahead and copy this ad set right here, make a copy of it inside of your ad set and maybe start targeting different people, start targeting maybe a different location and um you know start playing around with your ad seeing exactly what works best for your company you know your ad or your business so again you can go ahead and click on edit you can duplicate the ad set right here duplicate it and just change up a couple of things of the ad set to start targeting different people and seeing exactly what's going to work for your ad now the most most important thing when it comes to creating a facebook ad and starting to run successful facebook ads for your business is learning how to use your audiences learning how to use your facebook pixel and your custom and uh, look-alike audiences so to create a facebook pixel you want to go under events manager right here and after that, go ahead and click on the, it should pop up the first one right here. You're going to go ahead and create a Facebook pixel. As you can see, I have a Facebook pixel created. So this is basically going to be a code that you put onto your website. So when anybody clicks on your ad and goes to your website, Facebook is going to track that right there. It's going to track that exact person, their behaviors, and it's going to go out and find more people that are just like that person that are clicking on your ad. That way you're going to start getting better results with your Facebook ad. So you want to learn how to start implementing a Facebook pixel and also learn how to start using a custom audiences so if i click on this right here if i click on audiences right here 
Here are some of my custom audience and my lookalike audiences right here that I created. Now, this is basically a whole nother story for another day, guys. If you guys want a video showing you how to create a custom audience, how to use a Facebook pixel, just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to make a video about that right there. But if you don't, if you guys are fine, you know, just go out, check this out for yourself, guys, because this is very important that you learn how to start using Facebook custom audience, lookalike audience, and learning how to implement the Facebook pixel. So that's basically it right there, guys. That's exactly how to create a Facebook ad in 2020 that's going to save you a ton of money i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys got some value from it then hit the subscribe button down below smash that like button for me and i'll see you guys on the next video